What's up, everybody? Today I'm going to talk about how to leg press safely without getting injured. Um, so what you're going to see is I'm going to set my feet first onto the padding to, to find out where I'm at. Um, just, you know, if you want to do wide, if you want to do narrow, if you want to shoulder width, do what's comfortable for you. Um, so you're going to see me, I'm going to start at the top, I'm going to pull myself back down into the seat. reason for that is I want to keep my lower back flat, straight, you know. Some leg presses might have uh, a little angle like that. This one has a little flat spot at the bottom. So regardless, if you sit at the bottom and you kind of just lean back into it, your back is going to be rounded automatically, you know, without you even thinking about it. So would you leg press with a rounded back? Would you squat with a rounded back? The answer is probably no. So why would you leg press with a rounded back? Um, you're going to see here what I'm thinking mentally. I'm pushing through my heels. So when I set my feet, pushing through my heels the entire time to engage my hamstrings. And now you're going to see what happens when you engage um, your quads as you're pushing through your heels. You, know? all the, you can see all the muscle fibers firing. You know? So um, that, that, that was the first working set. Now we're going to go to a second working set here. You know, this is what I kind of like to do. I like to almost do a play squat and push myself back to open up my hips more. You know, that's gonna help with um, loosening everything up um, so your quads and your hamstrings are tight. So again, you're gonna see me put place my feet. I'm gonna put pressure through my heels. I'm gonna pull myself back down into the seat to make sure that my back is flat. You know? um, it's mainly to keep it so you don't pull your sciatic nerve, you don't strain anything. Um, it's really just for safety reasons. And I know a lot of people don't don't really pay attention to that. I had a client of mine who um, used to only do four plates aside for leg presses. I told him this little tweak. After the second workout, he was already up to seven plates aside. You know, it puts yourself in a stronger and safer position. You know? So uh, okay, here we go. I'm placing my feet, and you can see my uh, my quad there kind of contracting. All right. The entire time I'm keeping myself tight. Okay, we go pulling myself back down into the seat, and I'm engaging my hamstrings and glutes already. Now the range of motion differs for everybody. Uh, personally, I'll go to the range of motion where my hamstring touches my calf. You know, I don't need to go lower than that. And the goal here is to work on total leg development, so I'm not gonna try to only do a partial range of motion either. You know, some people can squat ass to the grass, some people can't. It just really depends on your own structure and your own anatomy, essentially. And I'm wearing my, my knee sleeves um, instead of knee wraps because knee wraps, it kind of places my kneecap out of, out of place and I already have two torn meniscuses. So uh, I'm not trying to get hurt, I'm not trying to make it worse. The knee sleeves are really there to help warm everything up and to keep everything uh, in line with each other. You know? So again, more for safety reasons. All right, so there you have it. You know, I hope some of these tips helped out to um, you know place your feet, set them, push through your heels to engage your your uh, hamstrings and glutes, and then to either you can push pull yourself down into the seat, or if you're at the bottom already, push yourself back up into the seat. As long as your back is flat against the padding, you, know? you don't want your lower back to be rounded. You know, even if you go down too far, your lower back starts to round, that's not really good. It's not going to be good for, for your uh, your spine. Not only that, you might pull your sciatic, and then it's going to affect, you know, down into your hips, your quads, even your psoas. So just be careful. Um, control the weight down and explode up. You know, push through your heels to make sure you engage your hamstrings and glutes as you pull the weight down. Push back up to engage your quads. So I hope... These tips helped you out, um, that you'll be able to make progress in the gym, break some PRs, get stronger, and um, be safe doing it. So check out NewBreedNutrition.com's blog for more tips on training, nutrition, supplementation to help you with your goals. Um, this is These will be goals that anyone can implement. You know, It doesn't matter if you're just starting off in a gym, you don't have a gym membership, or if you're an, an elite athlete. So. Uh, Subscribe down below as we'll be posting new tips for you. And uh, thank you for watching.